Well, hello again. This is another day here in the Twisted Knot Woodshop, and this is April 18th, and I am working on some planter boxes for a lady, and I thought I'd show you what's going on here. Um, uh, when they're finished, they're going to be four foot wide by six foot long, and I'm using uh, standard two by sixes. In, these ca in this case, it's fir and larch and the corner posts there are treks uh, because I happen to have them sticking around and you can make this thing out of uh, treks uh, the whole project out of treks but it'll be pretty spendy I feel that if you use these 2 by 6s like this and, and properly put a finish on them they should last oh 10 to 15 years easy so the way it's set up now is I got the top edge this would be the top over here well when it's standing up and I've got the 2x6 beveled there a little bit so that it doesn't hold water it will you know drain off and since the this is the long side the 2x6 uh, coming the four foot way will be in between the you know underneath of this one that's the reason for the spacer there so if I pull this out you can see that it's overhanging an inch and a half and so the um, that means the the short pieces are cut to 45 inches uh, to give the by the time you get an inch and a half here and an inch and a half on the other side that'll give it a four foot um, outside dimensions and instead of having a you know one solid uh, plank here to make it lighter and cheaper I'm going to put the first two by six here the other one up here so it'll leave a two inch space right here and down in the next section of this uh, video I'll show you how I, I cope with that and we'll see you in just a few minutes bye okay I'm back with this next section here um, the second piece is going on and I wanted to show you what uh, what I'm doing here I'm using these um, three inch ceramic deck screws they've got a star drive in there you could use Phillips I suppose but boy they'll sure strip out pretty fast um, this Trex material is kinda hard unless you pre-drill that as well but I'm not doing that because um, I'm using a star drive and an impact driver and it makes pretty quick work of that the um, lines are set so that they're three and a quarter inches from the end here to the center and that that accounts for that inch and a half that's overhanging uh, for the uh, the short end of the planter box there and so those those screws go in pretty fast I just uh, clamp them down so that the edge is flush with the top of this corner block and then screw them down and in just a little bit here I'll show you how we take care of this little spot there talk to you in a while alright now we're done with this one side here and you can see what it looks like from well you should be able to see it without everything in the way uh, what it's going to look like uh, when it's all assembled or pretty much and then that space in between there that gap that would have been there you can see how it was taken care of by applying this uh, strip of one by six and I'm using staples to put that on they're galvanized staples and so that should be fine and the one by six is just typical uh, number two pine nothing fancy um, so that means that that strip there would be on all the two ends and this other side and as soon as it won't take just a few minutes here to get the get it thing uh, assembled and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done see you in a bit all right here is just a few minutes later and I've got the the box completed now and you can see the uh, the appearance of it it looks pretty darn nice I think the um, the two little the two by sixes there instead of having one big board uh, to me looks like it would um, well like I said be heavier and more expensive and the last thing for me to do is you notice here the uh, instead of having the corner sticking up like like this one is if you take and cut them off with the jigsaw or handsaw or whatever you have available it'll look nicer and you can 
see how it looks there. And then I can tell you right now that uh, this one is heavy. Um, it's all I can do to pick it up and move it outside. So I just slide it across the floor. But there it is. And if you decide to build one, uh, you don't have to use, if you don't have a staple gun, you see the that divider board there is stapled on. Uh, you could use uh, galvanized nails and drive them by hand or screws for that matter. But uh, since I had the staple gun and the galvanized staples, and I, that's what I chose to do. And it should last for many, many years uh, if it's properly uh, finished and painted or whatever, not painted, but uh, put, a, put a nice little uh, oil base type of uh, stain or finish on it and it'll be it'll be lovely so if you decide to build one have at it and oh by the way the bevel on this is cut at 30 degrees so there you go and uh, happy gardening